and totally understanding. Can never be enough because uh, my dear, as you can see, uh, Mumu don't do now. We be the government. We will always tell you that it's not enough because we have been on things. Good. We have gone to several and I tell you that so many people are coming out right now to register because of the good work our mood on doing. Today, the 8th of August 2018, our Mumudandu movement staged a protest in front of INEC offices across Nigeria to persuade the Electoral Commission to extend its ongoing continuous voters registration. An Ambra State chapter of our Mumudandu movement stormed INEC office in Oka to register their protest, and BBI Channel 1 was there to bring you the report. <laughs> We are here today to see INEC and our message to INEC is quite simple, to extend voters registration. We understand that voters registration should be continuous. From the name, see, continuous voters registration. That the registration, instead of stopping by 17th of this month, should be extended to December 14th. That is the message from our Mumudondo. And on saying that, we understand what the issues INEC is having. Our Mumudondo is ready to partner with INEC to ensure that Nigerians collect their already registered voters card as well as mobilize them to go back and continue registering. As we all know, some of our sisters and the, our daughters will be turning 18 years in few months' time. And if we stop voters' registration this month, it means the election will no longer be fair. We are here representing our father, area father. As we are doing it in Anambra State to the Oka, it's been done across Nigeria. Right today, we are occupying INEC office in Abuja to pass on the message to them. INEC is our friend. INEC is representing the interests of the people. Right here with me is a letter that will be delivered to your office from Anambra State. Thank you. Our Mumu, our Mumu, taking custody of your letter. It will be delivered to the appropriate porters. Yeah, let me advise you or inform you that uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission did not just uh, wake up and decided to suspend the continuous voters registration on the 17th. They held meetings with critical stakeholders, namely political parties, civil society organizations, non-governmental organizations and uh, they all agreed with INEC that there is need to suspend this exercise to enable INEC consolidate the data so far uh, gathered work on them and be able to produce the uh, permanent voters card before the uh, February 16th election otherwise if we continue to register till December we may not be able to produce the cars for, for it to be ready for people to use during the uh, February 16th election. That is what necessitated the suspension. And like you noted, it is suspension. We are not stopping it. It will continue immediately after the 2019 election. There has been a, already an extension of time and days of the registration in order to meet up. Um, what other measures are uh, INEC taking to ensure that those who are registering will eventually collect their PVCs because we have the cases of people complain they've not collected their PVC. Um, we have deployed more machines to the LDS. Some LDS are have the minimum machine in, uh, in all the uh, in each of our local government areas is four. In some local government areas, we've increased it to six. 
some to seven, depending on the turnout of uh, people, just to make sure that everybody is uh, captured. Like I said, we have extended the period of registration from 9 a.m. in the morning to 5 p.m., including Saturdays and Sundays in, and public holidays. So, and then uh, on the issue of, uh, mind you, after the suspension of the CVR on the 17th, the collection of the permanent voters card will continue. We are doing a, a lot of in-house uh, planning to make sure that uh, we reach out to the owners of the PVC. We are scanning the cars so that we can place it at strategic uh, places in the areas, give it to the traditional rulers to call or help us uh, call on the people to come and uh, pick up their cars. So we are doing a lot. Eh? Help us. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The purpose of this gathering is simply to ask INEC to extend continuous voters registration from the announced 17th August deadline to December 14th. That's basically why we are here. As you can see, um, we don't do now we be the government we, we will always tell you that it's not enough because we have been on the field we have gone to several registration centers in Anambra State and I can assure you that so many people are coming out right now to register because of the good work our um, Mumudondu is doing our um, Mumudondu as you may have heard is trying to sensitize the people of Nigeria on the power of PBC and right now so many people who we are not interested before now to be part of the electoral process. You know, in this part of the world, there are people who don't believe in Nigerian elections. There are people who believe. In fact, there are people who have given INEC vote of no confidence. So we are trying to ensure that these people's confidence is restored. So at this point that we've been able to do it, thousands of people are coming out to register. And now suddenly, INEC is announcing a closure. So, your question as in, if we have registered enough, my sister can always tell you that we have not registered enough. And outside that, you should also note that there are so many of our sisters and brothers who will be heading to 18th come October, November, you know. And uh, we have just December deadline, we have two months to the election. Are you not bothered about this recent uh, political card matters vote buying that we were, you know, we witnessed in Ekiti State? What's your challenge to INEC? One, to prosecute any aspirants that indulge in that. Then two, massive education, telling Nigerians not to sell their vote for two or five thousand. Sorry, I think it's part of the process and it's, it's part of the reason why we are here. If you look at some of these messages here, you will see one of them bearing that buying and selling of voters' card or votes should be made, made a criminal offense as far as we are concerned. If you can pick up somebody that uh, has stolen uh, 5,000 naira, lock him up, buying of votes is more dangerous and more grievous offense, even more than killing. Because if you pay somebody for vote, it means you are buying over the person's life for four good years. So the sensitization has just started. And uh, Mumu Dondu, I want to use this opportunity to inform you that Anambra State Mumu Dondu is a mountain, a massive and aggressive media and street campaign. You have not seen anything. Today we have just started. The movement had the opportunity to discuss with INEC boss in Anambra State on burning issues and concerns regarding the conduct of election in Nigeria. Uh, INEC, of course, cherishes its relationship with uh, stakeholders. What we do here is that quarterly, uh, we have regular meetings, quarterly meetings uh, with different stakeholders. Normally, we we'll categorize it into three uh, different meetings. One with the security agencies under a framework that we started in 2011. We call it uh, IFES, Inter-Agency Consultative uh, Committee on Election Security. So we, we meet quarterly. We also uh, meet with political parties under an umbrella of political parties. It's called IPAC. Uh, uh, IPAC. Uh, and then we meet with civil society organizations. And of course, our Mumu don't do. It's, uh, it's, uh, 
is one of those one of those civil society movements uh, that uh, we would like to be part of uh, our regular engagement. For more news update, visit our website www.bvichannel1.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms. From the links below, download and install our mobile apps to have all information at the tips of your fingers. Please share, like, and drop your comments. Thanks for watching.